Well, I know it's going to be hard to see unless I get closer and shut the door. I can zoom in, but the problem is I'm going to be right there. I'm going to have to take this seat out. And it's pretty easy to take the seat out. The bottom, some of them bolt in, some don't. I'm going to go to this other side. And I ain't ever done this before. So I'm going to say, if you like the content, subscribe like share this might help somebody it might not i don't know but this is kind of what i'm hoping for let me see if it does this way all right seat belts don't matter push back lift up same thing but you can't lift up too high you'll tear up your armrest and then you can roll it and pull it on out Well, looks like we've got a mouse wanting a nest, so we're going to put that back in our seat. We're not going to waste it. This is on a 66 and 67 Fairlane. Your seat belts will be in the way. Look, my lug wrench is messing up the floorboard. Found me a gold chain. Doubt it's real. I'm gonna have to take the toolbox out or whatever's pushing down on that. But anyway, door panels are original. I got a screw, a couple of bolts. I'm going to go pause you, and I'll take it out. So, Phillips screwdriver, and I think a 5 sixteenths or 3 eighths. I'm going to fix this lug wrench in the trunk first. I ain't having that. That's driving me nuts. This one does not have a box of tools in it. It has a floor jack and a lug wrench to change the tire. Spare tire is probably flat, but. All right, let me go get my wrenches. Screwdriver, let me pause you. Okay, this one is a 3 8 not a 5 16 Hopefully I can get that seat out y'all's way. And y'all might be able to see a little something. Oh, Lordy, that's too much. Screen must be wet. Now let's see what we can find. And I did get a trim tool just for good measures. We've been on there a while. These are original door panels, or door cards as some people call them. Uh, they were painted. This one on this other side is coming apart. That bracket come off bolt must be. Come on. That's a longer bolt. It ain't the one that's supposed to be in it.
brackets right there. It's a little spring clip. But they swell up and come apart. That's why they're harder to get out. A screw for here and a screw on this trim panel. And yes, I got a screwdriver. And a wrench instead of an impact driver and a drill driver. The back seat shouldn't have to come out, the back part but it is bolted at the bottom. I think it's 3 8 also. All right. These were new, but they're corroded now. The bottom comes off first and the top will slide down. And there is a couple of upholstery clips right here and then the bottom will slide down. Now, if you ain't ever seen inside of one, this is the original paper. I taped it back up. I put a screw here to hold this trim panel in. It's plastic. They didn't make it for several years. I think they make a 70 model, and they might be making the 67 now. I want to say Auto Metal Direct. I think it's the one making it. This one goes up under the scuff plate. So be careful whatever you do not to tear it up. Only reason I'm taking it out is because I got the paper on there. I don't want to tear it up. So trying to be gently taking it and it broke at the top. It was pinched in. But anyway, I got it off. Paper's a little wet and it has butyl on this side holding it and it's gonna rip. I have never been in this window pocket. But my regulator come off the tracks I can't roll up and down this quarter window. Now I did take this off when I painted it and I think it just slides on, clips on. Can't remember it's been so long. I've had this car 17 years maybe. I've tried to hold on to things. Don't replace them just because they get old and broke. This newer stuff ain't worth what it's used to be. I think I gotta take the back seat because there's a screw holding this on. I could rip the paper. It's been on there for so long, though. No. And this is the only access hole here and here anyway. So it just keeps the door card from getting too wet. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let me go ahead and pop that out. It ain't got the two screws. Oh, scratch paint. Yeah, three eighths. And it'll have to come out to this side because of the armrest. And it is, of course, bolt. It goes in a clip also with a little side to side adjustment because these seats were made by several different companies. Ford contracted parts being made to supply the demand. And it goes up. Yep. No build sheet behind the seat. I had them upholstered. 
I put this on here because the one that was there was broke and fell down. I wrote my name on it or the lady I ordered it from did. It was eight dollars nine three of something I cut off the year to make it fit here. Come on now. put felts on them. Two adjustments here, one here. This going to come all apart. It has got black on the back side. I don't know if I can get a garbage bag anymore, paint it black. This butyl will get all over us. But, take the other side back up too, coming all to pieces. But, we can find out it's off the roller right here. So that's a good thing, it didn't break it, and it should be an easy fix. It's got a plastic wheel that got turned and it's broke. So I don't know if we can buy them. I'll just have to remember that'll go down and there's up. Now we're back fixed. I have to get a wheel. I know they make them for the Mustangs and that's riveted in, but the plastic wheel broke. and it fell out. So I'll roll it up and leave it up and we'll be all right for a little bit. I'm gonna go try to order one, but I'll just leave this glass up. Now I gotta do everything in reverse and I'll have to get back in here, but we know why. I gotta put this up here for this one. The back one's the only one. These strips are supposed to be stainless, but they do rust. Need to keep them waxed. 
keep them from rusting. And this is the hat rack board I used up here, but I had to redo the hat rack twice and I used MDF pegboard material without the holes. Now, my door card. Said this is original. I'm going to put the plastic piece on. and did it before I did the door card because it goes behind it it's still a little flexible but not too much you gotta be careful but we got it screw in that keeps it from kicking around sideways because it'll drop if this ain't on there right I need to put the back in before I put this on and the seat bottom too it be beneficial to wait I can put this on. It shouldn't be in the way. It's up. I'll wait. That way it's not in my way at all. Don't have to question it. But I gotta get my bolts. Can't lose them. My extension's already on there. Let's get the back. This weighs about 20 pounds. If you need help, get somebody to help you. It's better than tearing stuff up. All the seat belts go down. Now I'm getting on my new $150,000 knee. It sticks up above the hat rack about a half inch. Line the holes up at the bottom. Start the course three eighths. Tighten her down. That's all she wrote. Now these are going to be in the way, but you have to remember to put them on top of the seat. And the seat doesn't have any hardware holding it on. seat bottom. Whew. 
the back has to go first. Raise the front up and push it down and it should lock in. Now, this can go back on. And when these bolts go in, they spread out and make that tang hold on better to that door. back where we started from good deal this away and yes it needs a piece of plastic or this back on there but we're going to be back in there as soon as we get apart but it'll be good for a show and I'll have to find a trash bag paper grocery bag anyway hope this helps somebody that's how you get into the back interior panel for the quarter window.